Well, hello again. Welcome back to another edition of Daily Devotionals with John. Today's word for the day is communication. That's what we're doing. We're communicating. But communication is more than just watching a video. It's a two-way street. And we're going to dive into the scripture right away. All right. Our scripture today comes from John chapter 10, verse 27. And it says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. That's John chapter 10, verse 27 out of the New Living Translation. Now, in John chapter 10, I would encourage you to go ahead and read the whole chapter because this is about sheep and there's uh, several parables that Jesus tells about sheep in this chapter. And what they're really referring to here when he um, talks about my sheep he is literally talking about his followers, okay? Because he talks earlier in the chapter about sheep and how if typically the shepherd comes into the gate, but if someone comes over the fence, the sheep aren't going to listen to them. They're going to run and scatter from them because only people that come over the, uh, into the sheep pen anyway, other than the gate, is usually up to no good. That's how wolves get in. That's how robbers get in. And the sheep know that. And even when a hired hand comes to handle the sheep, a lot of times the sheep won't listen to them. But when the master shows up, the master shepherd, the sheep listen to them because they trust him. They've built a relationship with him and they know him. So that's why the sheep listen to him. So there's several parables about sheep in here. And it's all about communication. And who do you trust? Who do you listen to? How do you communicate? Um, we keep in touch with people because it is vital to the quality and success of our relationships, whether that be marriage or friendships or family relationships or even business partnerships. You've got to talk. You've got to communicate both ways. The same principle applies with your relationship with God. You've got to find ways to communicate with him and learn to listen as he communicates with you. For instance, yesterday when I did my prayers and I talked to God and I sat back and listened to what God was telling me, he actually talked to me through a song as opposed to directly. Instead of hearing that voice in your head, um, it was through a song that he talked to me. So find those ways, those lines of communication. Good communication allows you to experience a breakthrough in your spiritual life. The more time that you spend communicating with God, the closer and more successful your relationship with him is going to be. And the same, th same way holds true with all of our relationships in life as well. Um, for instance, my relationship with my wife. I can look back. We've been together. It'll be 16 years in August. We will have been married 14 years in August, but we dated for two years prior. And looking back, just about every disagreement and argument that we've ever had, was a direct result of a lack of communication or just not communicating at all or not communicating clearly with each other about what we needed to do, what we needed to accomplish. And once we figure that out, most of our arguments went away. There haven't been very many arguments at all in years because we communicate. We talk to each other. We let each other know what we're doing and how we're doing it and who we're doing it with and where. And it just every detail about our lives, we want each other to know. That way there's trust. We can build trust. That trust remains solid. And I trust her and she trusts me. The same way that I try to build a relationship with God and have a two-way communication street with him the same way. Keep those lines of communications open and your life and your relationship with him is going to flourish. So you're probably wondering what in the world is he wearing? Well, I'm going to tell you, don't go hitting on my wife because I got dibs on the pastor. That's right. Sure do. So anyway, I'll leave you with a question today. That question is, are you in touch with God and how much time do you spend communicating with him? Blessings to you. I hope this has touched you in some way, shape or form. If it has, please share it so that it can touch somebody else. Hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video. And hopefully you can give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Blessings to you and I will see you next time.